This video lesson covers Chapter 6 in JS Tutorial for Marketing, Prospect Profiling for World Treasures Incorporated. World Treasures is a firm based in New York that works with, uh, it's an electronic retailer that works with web-based sales of, of uh, traditional art objects from around the world. It wants to extend its marketing efforts with a database marketing program to reach new customers by, by a direct mail. Uh, and the idea is that there are several customers who might be interested in their, in their products who simply are unwilling to buy uh, online off of a website. And so this is a way of trying to introduce more sales options to these customers uh, and, and increase the, their purchases. So the initial focus is going to be on electronic newsletter subscribers. These are people who get the newsletter uh, from the company but have yet to make a purchase. So they're not in the customer database uh, but they are interested based on their newsletter interest. So uh, the idea is that newsletter subscribers can be converted into customers with a direct mail campaign. So what we'll learn as we pursue this chapter is how to use GIS uh, within the context of an e-commerce business, an electronic business, in which initially you would think place means nothing at all, uh, to use spatial analysis uh, to develop a population uh, profile uh, of, their, of their potential customers. So we'll display demographic information on a map. We will identify customer segments uh, by zip code based on the number of customers or subscribers and potential customers that live in those zip codes. We'll profile the concentrations of subscribers and potential customers and we'll use the profile to target zips that match those uh, and we will communicate those results to management uh, with maps. So in task one of this chapter you will explore the, the, the New York area and its zip codes and identify the demographic and customer characteristics of that area. Uh, you'll then merge the demographics, uh, demographic information of New York zip codes with customer information to identify the zip codes with the most potential subscribers, most subscribers and potential customers in the area. So this is the type of map that you'll produce. Uh, this indicates the number of households by zip code uh, who are subscribers to uh, World Treasures newsletter uh, and also the demographic characteristics of the New York market. We'll then define market segments within the, that area, within the state of New York, and, and I assign, uh, assign assign the zip code. So we'll define, assign each zip code uh, a segment designation. And we'll do that based on the number of subscribers uh, in the zip code. And we'll display that map, uh, that, that information on the map. So here's the way we will uh, identify the, the, those potential segments. Uh, we'll analyze the number of, of subscribers in each zip code. We'll identify the ones that have the highest level. And we'll use those thresholds uh, to select zip codes and I assign them to specific segments. And we'll end up with a map that looks something like this uh, with high subscribers, low subscribers, and those zip codes with no subscribers designated in the map that you see here. In the third task, we will profile those subscriber segments. So now we have a high and low subscriber segment, and now we're going to look at the difference for those. And we'll do that by creating a summary table of demographic characteristics of those subscriber segments and look for the ways in which the, the, the demographic characteristics of the high segment are, differ, uh, are different from those of the low segment. And they will format that information in a table that's ready to be included uh, in a map document. So here are some of those segment demographic tables. On the top, you can see how it's generated in a, in a native fashion by ArcMap. And then we format that a little bit more clearly for layout view by adding aliases to each of the, of the field segments and sort of dressing up the data for presentation, making it a little bit more obvious what we're presenting. In task four, we'll use those profiles to select target zip codes. Now, what we're going to be doing here is looking for zip codes uh, with, that have values, demographic values, that match the characteristic of our high subscribers uh, segment, but haven't yet been targeted by the company. So we're going to use queries to identify those with values for the distinguishing, above average values for distinguishing variables. Uh, we'll calculate the number of households in those zip codes uh, and adjust it so that we're sending our direct mail to 2 million households, uh, but also ones that have selected because they match very closely our high subscribers segment. Uh, and this is the way that process we will, will look. We will identify the zip codes in New York which most closely match the characteristics of our uh, high subscriber segment and those will be our targets. Then in task 5 uh, we report the analysis results including a map to support our recommendation. We'll explain 
why the zip codes we selected are very attractive for this particular direct mail campaign, why we think that the profiling and selection process will improve uh, our return ratio and our sales ratio of the direct mail campaign that we're going to do, uh, and we're going to design a map and use it in layout view uh, to support those recommendations. Uh, so this shows us where those zip codes are concentrated, gives us some idea of the demographic differences between those, and why we think those are going to be more successful as targets for this campaign than a generalized mailing. Now that illustrates how ArcGIS and GIS tools can be used to extend the, the marketing reach uh, of an electronic commerce company, um, but there are additional capabilities that you could extend these, these tools even more. Uh, for example, uh, the, the, the much more extensive demographic and tapestry information that's available through the, the tapestry segmentation system could allow us to add a lifestyle component to that. We have relatively little internal customer data here. All we have is number of subscribers. But as our direct mail customers, uh, prospects become customers, we'll develop sales data on them that we could use to refine this process even further. We could do the same thing with server log and clickstream data from our e-commerce website and try and learn the characteristics of those users who spend the most time on the site and are most active there. Now that we have a database marketing program, we can use recency, frequency, and monetary analysis to improve the effectiveness of that program uh, and to associate uh, the cells, the market cells that are, that are discovered in that process with some of the demographic information that we've already used in the, in the GIS system. Uh, and then we can use the advanced targeting capabilities in, of newspaper and direct mail advertising firms to target not at the zip level, but at the zip plus four level or other levels of geography to make our targeting even more focused than it is at present. Uh, so that illustrates some of the ways in which GIS tools can be used for customer profiling and customer targeting uh, for uh, an online retailer. And that concludes this video lesson.